computer. Okay, and now let's continue with a class, of course. And today we have a, le a lesson in session. And of course, I want to talk to you and I want to practice, okay? Okay. okay. Focus on this part, Andres. And I've traveled to Canada three times. And the first one, it was when I was a child, when I was about maybe six years old, because my mother was working in a company and my father yeah, decided to travel to Canada. Uh, what about you? Have you ever been in a different country? Um, yes, I have been two years in Spain, in Spain when I, when I was eight years ago. Okay. Yes. I, I yeah. understand. I don't understand. You say I have been in Spain since I was eight years ago. Or when you um, were eight years old. Uh, no, no. Uh, when I I was eight years. You you went to you went to Spain. Yes. Okay, so you went to Spain when you were eight years old. Okay, and, and why? Because you just visited the country, or because your parents, it uh, well, they needed to work in the country. Um, my father um, live in Spain. Why? So he was from Spain. No, no. Um, he's he went for work. Okay, okay, yes. okay. And he's, and he, tell me. Um, he staying in this country. 11 years. Okay, so. he has stayed for the country for 11 years. Yes. Now he, he now he is not living in that place. He doesn't live. No, no. I, I, okay. Right now, I live here in, in this country. Okay, now he is living in a different country. Okay, that was great. That was great. <clears throat> and also, um, so you remember when you were in, in that country or do you just know like that you live in that place? No, I remember. I can remember you when study, I. Lived. You mentioned that you studied for how how many years did you live in that country? Two years. Two years. Did you study there, right? Yes. Okay. And do you remember when you were studying in that country? Mm, yes, it is. It was uh, different. It was different. Why it was different? Because, for example, um. I have lunch in, I has lunch in, 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 in the school, uh, not my home. Okay, you had lunch in the school, yeah. not in your, not in your house. Because uh, I'm, I have a school at 4 p.m. You had a school at 4 p.m. Um, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Or your classes or your school finishes or finished at 4 p.m. So this is the reason that you maybe eat at a school. Yes, I finish. Okay. Okay. One second. I'm trying to look for my presentation. Okay. And next part, next part. And also, I, I have another question for you. I just want to maybe, I, I want to learn different languages like Japanese, or maybe I want to master my German. Um, I, I have a question for you. Do you want to speak a different language or do you just want to learn English? Or, or what are your plans, I mean? Well, what is your favorite hobby? For example, mine is like learning languages and sometimes I play sport with my friends. What about you? Um, right now, um, I focus in the in the learning. Mm -hmm. I'm learning, focus on learning what? Uh, speak English, speak, uh, writing, understanding English. Mm -hmm. um, it's, um, in the future, maybe I I 
I study probably language. You will, you will. In the future, Well, I I will you will do study. well. I you will study a different language. Which one? Mm. I liked I like Italy, Italian, Italian. 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 Okay. Yeah. Or maybe Germany. I don't know. Or maybe German. Yes. Okay. Or maybe I know this language is difficult learning. mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. You're not sure. You're not sure, but you you would like to learn that, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, now dun 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 dun. Let's continue. Now the, the questions are gonna be just a little bit difficult. And let's start. Let's start. Can you tell me your maybe? Well, I don't know how to ask this, but sometimes have you ever made a difficult decision? Have you ever made a difficult decision? Mm. Mm. I say um I have a make decision making decision last year. You made a, a decision. You made a decision last year. Yes, difficult decision. Okay. Okay. Um Why this decision was difficult? Mm. Because in February the last year, um, Mm -hmm. I have this opportunity, um, working in the in the office. Okay, you had the opportunity to work in an office. Yes, uh, all all my all my life uh, I work in my hub. Um, All your life, you work where? In an office? No, no, I, I work at my home. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. All your life, you have work in your house or at home? Yes, Okay. at my home. So, um, this opportunity, uh, What happened with this opportunity? um, how do you say, conlleva or Leads to Leads to uh, this you want. leads to for many consequences. Leads to many consequences. Leads to many consequences. Can can you mention one of these consequences, maybe? For example, for example, the schedules, uh, the the times, um, the hobbies. Uh, But uh, but I don't understand this part because you said that you worked at home. <laughs> yes. And now you had the opportunity to work again at home. No, no, at office. At the office, like in a face to face. Okay, it Yeah. was a face to face. Okay, it was not a like a remote job. Okay, and and what did you decide? I mean, are you working face to face or do you keep on working at home? Or maybe as a high rate job. Well, I, I decided working at home because um, this job um, offered me more um, security, more stability in my life. In your life. How about Yes. but okay. Okay, so you got the job. Yes, I got Okay. it. Because it's maybe a more a stable job. A stable job. Yes, I will jump. Un trabajo más estable de repente. Yep. Mm, yes. Okay. Now well, let's continue. Okay. I will share some cards and, and I want you to talk to me about these cards. My question is, do you understand when I speak or am I speaking too fast and it's very difficult for you to understand? Uh, Not I can uh, understand. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Now let's let's discuss about this. Okay, focus on this part. It says, why do you think people put on weight very fast? Put on weight because you know, put on weight. Now, for example, I weigh 80 kilograms, but tomorrow, or well, I'm sorry, next week I 
maybe I weigh 95 kilograms. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Why do you think people, that people, the people put on weight fast? Uh, eight. Um, because people eat? Eat. What do people uh, eat? Food, uh, who do you say? Comida rápida or... Fast food. Fast food, fast food. Fast food or junk food. Fast food. Junk food means like comida chatarra, but fast food, comida rápida. Uh, okay, and why do people eat fast food? What do you mm. think? What's your opinion? Mm, people like... And uh, eat, uh, it, it's bad. <laughs> okay, people like, and it is bad for their body. For their body, for healthy. It's bad for the body, it's bad for their health. Healthy, it's an adjective. Oh. You say that that food is healthy, but you never say that is healthy, you see? Oh, uh, no. Healthy, no. A noun, no, it's an, it's an adjective. You say, okay, because it's bad for their health. Because the food is not healthy. Okay. 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 But people usually, or they tend to, tend to, tend to, es como que tienden a, they tend to maybe tend eat to. fast food. Sometimes they are not worried about maybe their physical appearance. And and sometimes they, they, more, they are more focused on working and they don't care about these things. Right? Right. Okay. <clears throat> what is the hardest thing about being on a diet? Are you gonna diet right now, Andres? Right now, no. But uh, I, I am on diet. But you, uh, you, you were months ago. You were on a diet two months ago. Yes. Okay, and uh, why? Because you were sick, or it was just for? I don't just know, for for, uh, for your health. Yes, because I, I. I went to I went to to the gym. Ah, you went to the gym. Okay, yes. but it was your personal decision, or because you were sick, and then you go, you went to the doctor, and then the doctor recommended like go into the gym or and change your and um, eating habits. Uh, only my personal decision. It was your personal decision. Okay. Yes. Nice. Another question for you. How can people avoid being overweight? Avoid means evitar. Mm -hmm. Evitar estar con sobrepeso. How can people avoid being overweight? What, what, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Um, people try to... Um, maybe people to should. Go. Maybe people should. People mm -hmm. should want. No. People should... Um, try to people should try to uh, start to good habit people should start good habits for example what kind of habits um uh, exercise uh, i don't know maybe start try to try to walk in the mornings or the light night Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so people should try maybe, uh, maybe try um try to do more physical activities. Yeah, physical, physical activities. activities. Okay, okay. <clears throat> when because the... I recommend no, uh, don't uh, begin in in gym because maybe. Why Contra... not? The gym is not the what, best option. What do you say contraproducente? Or uh, I don't know. I, I try to say. It's not very beneficial. Mm, yes, in first time. Okay. When you start, it's not like beneficial to start at the gym because it's not beneficial. And, and why do you say that? Because it's more difficult, it's more expensive. What is the main reason? Why do you say that? Um, because people... Yeah. People have to use it. Because people when, have to use it. Uses uh, lessons. 
Ok. ¿Qué podrías repetir en español? ¿Querías decir? Porque... O sea, las personas pueden llegar a lesionarse cuando van al inicio Ah, del... ok, pero ese pueden lesionarse, como lo dirías. Because people, they could. could Ellos podrían, ¿qué? Okay, porque cabe la posibilidad. They could get injuries. um, injuries, injuries, They could get injuries. injuries, Ok, thank okay, you so cool. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Buen trabajo. Eh, vamos a ver cómo te va con otro acento, ¿vale? Vamos a hacer este de aquí. A ver. Tan, 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 tan. Vamos a hacer un pequeño examen. Pero vamos a ver cómo te va con otro acento. Del 1 al 10, te va fácil con el acento mío, right? Sí, Ok, porque estoy tratando diría de que un, rápido. un ocho o nueve. Ok, bien, 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 bien. Vamos bien. A ver, vamos a probar con un acento un poquito más. A ver, vamos a ver cómo te va. Pero con otros sí me dificulta un poco. A ver, dame un segundo. A ver. Se supone que el acento de que te voy a poner ahorita... Es más fácil. ¿Por qué? Porque tratan de pronunciarte casi todas las palabras. En cambio, yo no. Yo trato como que de hacer una reducción. Digo, por ejemplo, no sé, well, you, we gotta, we gotta go. Ok, we wanna win, we gotta let it go. We, if we wanna win, we gotta let it go. ¿Qué es lo que dije? We wanna go. If we, well, again, so, if we wanna win, we gotta let it go. If we wanna win, we gotta let it go. If we want to win, we got to let him go. We If gotta we go. If you, want, if, if if we, we want we to win. Okay, wanna, okay. If we want to win. we wanna win. We got to let him go. Eso es más difícil Yes. que entender. If we want to win, we got to let him go. If we want to win, we got to let him go. Laudio habla así. We want to win, we got to let him go. Pero en cambio la otra versión que tú me dices que me entiendes a mí un 8, por, en un 8 de 10 es, una, es más difícil. Puede que tú dices, profe, es que la, la gente a veces se entiende mejor porque como usted también habla español, se les hace más fácil. Sí, o sea, yo entiendo de que puede porque yo tenga mi acento distinto, tú me puedas entender. Pero o se es complicado porque yo no hablo como que, you will hear five short conversations. This one, o sea, pronuncio palabra. Yo digo, you'll hear it, fuck, sure, conversation. O sea, lo trato de hacer la, la otra versión. Entonces, por eso como que me sorprende. Así que vamos a intentar con este, ¿vale? Y si lo haces bien, ya continuamos con el más americano. Ok, ese es el más difícil, ¿ok? Three, two, one, start. You will hear five sure conversations and choose the best option, right? To the right answer. One. What music will they have at the party? Are you going to bring your guitar to the party? It's broken, I'm afraid, but you can play the piano for us. <sighs> I'm not good enough. Let's just play your new CDs. All right. I'll bring the guitar another time. Mm, the correct letter C. Now listen again. The correct is letter C. ¿Cómo te fue aquí? ¿Más fácil? Mm, sí, sí, logré entender casi todo. La parte de la guitarra entendí que estaba, estaba rota, averiado. ¿Y por Eh, qué no la, con el bueno, piano? ¿Y por qué no con el piano? el piano no entendí muy bien. Creo que a la chica no le gustaba, si no estoy mal. No, he, okay, he doesn't play the piano very well. Ah, No es sí, muy así bueno. no podía. No es Yes. muy bueno tocando el... Pero bien, ¿ah? ¿eh? A ver, vamos con el otro, con un poco más de información. Este de aquí, a ver. Three, two, one. Not good enough. Let's just play your new CDs. All right. I'll bring the guitar another time. Two. When will the man go on holiday? I can't go on holiday in June because my parents are coming to stay with me then. Why don't you go in August? It's a lovely month in the mountains. July's better. There aren't so many people. So I'll leave on the 12th and come back at the end of the month. Okay. Then you'll be back for my birthday party in August. What's the answer now? Mm, June? 
Nope. Mm, all right. Listen again, yeah, like listen again. Uh, people usually listen to this kind of audio twice. 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 But you try it. Try it again, okay? Now listen okay. again. I can't go on holiday in June because my parents are coming to stay with me then. Why don't you go in August? It's a lovely month in the mountains. July's better. There aren't so many people. So I'll leave on the 12th and come back at the end of the month. OK. Then you'll be back for my birthday party in August. OK. Um, the card is Jill. Yes, yes. Jill is better. Two. July. 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 The answer is July. OK. July. ¿Cómo te fue aquí? ¿La segunda sí? Ya la segunda la entendí, ya la segunda la entendí. Ya. Yeah. A ver, vamos a poner uno más. Si esa es la tercera, quiere decir que o sea, se te está haciendo bien fácil. Vamos con la tercera, a ver. Ok. When will the man go on holiday? Dear, we never uh, tell. Uh, don't wait. Yeah, el X es para completar con... The Saturday doesn't know the time. Ok, vamos a completar la info. Thank you for phoning Park Zoo. The zoo is open from Monday to Saturday from 9 in the morning to 7.30 at night and on Sundays from 10 to 5. You can stay in the zoo for one hour after closing time. The zoo is north of the city centre and you should take the train to North Station. It is a five-minute walk from there. We have many interesting animals for you to see. But please note, the elephant house won't be open on the 3rd of May. I'm sorry, but you can't see the elephants that day. When you come, make sure you visit the zoo shop. There you can buy books, postcards and t-shirts. Everyone will want to wear a zoo t-shirt. An adult ticket costs £10, a children's ticket £5 and a family ticket £12. We hope you enjoy your visit to the zoo. Now listen again. Thank you for phoning Park Zoo. The zoo is open from Monday to Saturday from 9 in the morning to 7.30 at night and on Sundays from 10 to 5. You can stay in the zoo for one hour after closing time. The zoo is north of the city centre and you should take the train to North Station. It is a five-minute walk from there. We have many interesting animals for you to see, but please note the elephant house won't be open on the 3rd of May. I'm sorry, but you can't see the elephants that day. When you come, make sure you visit the zoo shop. There you can buy books, postcards and T-shirts. Everyone will want to wear a zoo t-shirt. An adult ticket costs £10, a children's ticket £5, and a family ticket £12. We hope you enjoy your visit to the zoo. Okay, how much the family tickets? Um, £10, the kids £5, and the family £12. £12. So shops, sell books, bus card, and... T-shirt and t-shirts, and yeah. when is a uh, is the elephant house closing? Uh, May. Thirty May. Thirty. Okay. Thirty. And name of the nearest station? North Station. Oh, that's amazing. We're gonna skip. This is very easy for you. Este tipo de audio son de ya de nivel B1. Vamos a subirle de nivel ahora nivel B2. Ah, vamos a continuar entonces. Vale. El día de hoy te voy a enseñar un nuevo tema. Ya estamos okay. ready. Nuevo temita. Se llama Quantifiers. Ya le hemos llevado, creo que hemos llevado contigo el few, el a few, el a lot of, el many match or not. Uh, yes. Entonces, ya lo dominas. Vamos a practicar entonces. Quantifiers. Ah, ok. I have a question for you. Did we do this? Maybe in one of the previous classes, the fast speech sounded more American. I mm -hmm. guess so. Un poco mm -hmm. No, this activity, no. Like watch, uh, nope. No, no, no. 
Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I will share it again on the screen. It says, fast speech sound more American. Let's go. What did you think of that? O sea, cuando tú me tengas un what did you, quiero que me digas what ya. What ya. What ya. Pregúntame, Carlos, ¿qué tomaste de desayuno? What ya to take. No, eh... what ya. What ya to take. Recuerda que tomar desayuno es have breakfast. Ah, ok. Um, what ya breakfast have. A ver, what ya. What ya. Because what did you have? What do you have? What do you have a breakfast today? What do you have a breakfast? What do you have a breakfast? ¿Te das cuenta? Mira, la pregunta normal es, hey, what did you have for breakfast? Le digo, hey, what do you have for breakfast? Pregúntame, ¿qué hice hoy? What do you do? Today. No, what did you do today? De frente, es que es, what did you do today? What did you do today? What did you do today? ¿Te das cuenta? Yes. Entonces, cada vez que tú me hagas una pregunta con what did you, escuchas el what ya. Mira, vamos a reproducir el audio. En esta pregunta es, what did you think of that? ¿Qué pensaste sobre eso? Y dice, hey, what did you think of that? Listen. What did you think of that? What did you have for breakfast this morning? What did you find out? What you find out? What you find out? What you what you what you what you find out? What you find out? Okay. Okay. What you find out? So don't don't forget about that. Next part. El them. Ya tú sabes que el them se dice como si fuese un m m m. Let's do it. Show them what we got. Por ejemplo, aquí es show them what we got. Is it here? Show them what we got. Show them. Show them. Showing what we got. Showing what we got. You see? Second part. We want to win. We got to let them. Oh, the same expression. Oh, okay. If we uh -huh. want to win, we got to let them. Let them. Because we say, let them. Let, let them. them. But we say, let them. Let them go. Let them go. Please read the sentence. If we want to win, we want to let it go. No, we got to. We got to. We got to let we them gotta. go. We want to let it go. No, we got to. We got. We got. If we wanna win, we wanna gotta. We gotta. We gotta let it go. We gotta. We gotta, we gotta let gotta. him go. Let him go. We gotta get it, let him go. No. We gotta yeah. let him go. We gotta let him go. Yes. If we wanna win, we gotta let him go. You try it. If we wanna win, we gotta let it go. Let, let him go. go. No, let him, let him, let him, let him. Because we see let, let him. Let him. I feel <clears throat> like the, the pronoun or the object pronoun it. So let it go. Let it go. No, it's let him. Let him go. Yes. If you want green, we got to get let him go. Okay. When you have the word if we, you say if we, if we, if, if we want to win, we want to win, we want to win, we got to let him go. Just try to do it quickly. Okay. okay. If we want to win, we got to let it go. Let but it go. You, you are saying it, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, and let it go for me is like the pronoun it, it, like let it go, let it go, let it go, yeah, let it go, mm -hmm. it's let it go, no, it's let it go, let it go, let it, let it go, let it's go. let him go, let him go, we need to pronounce am because it would be pretty similar, okay. next, go. Let him go, and I'm gonna take him back to my apartment, show him what we got, we want to win, we gotta let him go, and I'm Focus on this part. It says, and I'm gonna. Gonna is a short form of going to in the future, going right? Going to take. So I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him back to my apartment. You read it? I'm gonna take him back to the apartment. Back to my apartment. Back to my apartment. Sure. Next. This is pretty cool because in English, when you have this, well, this like a structure, like, what are you? You can say what are you or you can say whatcha. Whatcha. Let's listen. What you working on? Hey, what you doing for lunch? What you looking for? What you looking for? Whatcha. What you looking for is like what are you do? What what are you looking for? Pregúntame qué estoy haciendo. Whatcha you doing? What no. are you doing? Es que what are you is whatcha. Tú me preguntarías, what, what are you doing? ¿Cierto? 
What, what are, are you doing? doing? Entonces le quito el what are you por whatcha y quedaría what, what you doing. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? ¿Cómo dirías? ¿Qué estás diciendo? What you do say? No, what you saying? What you What you say? Dice, what you, you what are you? What you saying? What you saying? What you What saying? you saying? ¿Qué estás cocinando? What you watching cooking? What you cooking? What you cooking? What you... Ahora, no es que sea una A ah, de watcha. Es que es una, es la, es la, es la schwa que es, uh, uh, sería, watch, watch, no es, watch, what? no es, watch, 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 what you doing, watch, you looking what for, you what you ok, cook. nice, what you working on, aquí das, what you working on, aquí, what you doing for lunch, what you doing for lunch, hey, what you doing for lunch, hey, what you doing for lunch, what you, what you doing for lunch, you see, What, what, what? Now trying to trying to is gonna be trying, 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 trying. Let's listen. I wasn't trying to make it a game. I wasn't trying to make it a game. It, it is like I wasn't trying to make it a game. You see? I wasn't trying. trying. Pregúntame, Carlos, ¿qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás intentando hacer? Mm. Watch a trainee. What you trying to do? What you trying to what you trying to What you trying to do? What you trying to do? Te das cuenta, pero o sea, no, cuando me hablas de esta forma, no me puedes hacer como que pausa, o sea, tienes que hablar más hey, What you trying to do? What you trying to do? What you trying to do? Let's check the second one. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my scene, okay? So, I'm just trying to get my scene, okay? I'm just trying to trying to trying to Trying to try. Pero ahora esto no es que sea, wow, la cosa nueva, ¿no? Sino que mira, te comento algo. Eh, la, la de acá se elimina. La G es muda. Me quedaría NT sonido de vocal. Se elimina la T porque es NT sonido de vocal y me quedaría la Shua. Sure. ¿Y queda el try now? O sea, no, no es magia. O sea, simplemente es aplicar los truquitos. Try now. Try now. Wait, what you trying to do? Let's go. Okay. Still trying to get that? You still trying to get that? You still trying to get that? They say, you still, is you still trying to get that? ¿Aún estás intentando conseguir eso? Next, con el is, con el he. ¿Cómo sería? Easy. Easy. Who is he? Who is he? Why is he napping in your room? Is he cute? Is he cute? Is he cute? Is he cute? El don't you, we say don't you, don't you, don't you. Let's listen. Oh, good golly, he's got to work at it, don't you know? Everybody's innocent in here. Don't you know that? Why don't you tell him? Why don't you tell him? Don't you, don't you, don't you. Oh. I, I remember explaining this, you know, gonna is a short version for the word going to, right? Going to. But in English, we we have two like two more versions like Aymana and Ama. Aymana and Ama. And focus on this part, Andreas. We use Aymana and Ama it just with the pronoun I. We never use Shimana. No, we know we don't have Shimana, Wimana. No, 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 no. We have Amana, Ama, I'm gonna. But for example, we say He's he's gonna. You can say he's gonna, for example. He's gonna, but you never say he mana. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Let's listen. I'm gonna ask you this one time. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna arrest him. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna take my dog. In the last video, he said, "I'm gonna. I'm gonna or ama." I'm I'm Mana. What to say? I'm Mana. I'm Mana. Listen again, the last video. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take my dog. Ah, the last, the uh, last video. Gonna. No, this man, this man, this man who is like, take this, take this, and take the, take my dog. He said. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take my dog, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, or maybe he said ama, that the other version. 
Ay, mana. Listen again. Okay. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take my dog. I'm gonna take I'm... this, ama. Él no dice en ningún I'm... momento, dice ay, mana. Dice ama. ¿Por qué? Porque esta es otra versión, es la forma más informal que hay. Mira, si esto es informal, lo hago más informal con un ay, mana, y lo hago recontra informal con un ama. Y eso sí es como te comunica, o sea, no hay ningún problemilla, ¿vale? Um, did you ever? El, el ever es como que alguna vez. El did you ever is like jever. Jever, let's listen. Okay, did you ever see this really old movie, Aliens? Did you ever hear that word? Did you ever see the documentary on the Chicago 7? Please read the sentence. Did you ever see that documentary on the Chicago 7? Ok, you ever see that? Ese documentary, te das cuenta que tenemos NT sonido de vocal, sería documentary. Documentary. A ver, escuchemos, a ver si pronuncia documentary. A ver. Did you ever see the documentary on the Chicago 7? Did you ever see this really old movie? Like here, the Avengers, como lo harías? Did you ever see this really old movie, Aliens? Inténtalo. Ok, did you ever see this really old movie, Aliens? Did you ever see, did you ever see, did you ever see, como que alguna vez viste esta película, o sea, es bastante común preguntar con un jabber, así que ahí tenemos que familiari, familiarizarnos. A ver, vamos a leer estos tipos de preguntas con tu mejor acento, sería, did you ever visit Japan, did you ever play the piano, did you ever try bungee jumping, did you ever visit New York City before, did you ever go skydiving, and did you ever try sushi before, three, two, one, go. Did you ever visit Japan? No, Japan, 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 Japan. Japan, Japan. Did you ever play the piano? Did you ever try bungee jumping? Did you ever visit New York City before? Did you ever go skydiving? Skydiving. Did you ever try sushi before? You ever try sushi before? Yeah, ¿qué es lo que pasa? ¿Te acuerdas que vimos content words? Siempre tratamos de usarle la voz en el verbo. You ever visit Japan? You ever visit Japan? Mira, enfócate como ellos na, le alzan la voz en el, en el, en el verbo. Mira, three, two, go. Mira, escucha. Okay. Did you ever see this really old movie Aliens? You ever see? You ever see this really old movie Aliens? Vamos con la siguiente. Aliens? Did you ever hear that word? Did you ever hear that word? Did you ever see the documentary on the Chicago? You ever see the documentary? Es cuando o se trata okay. de hacerle un poquitito la voz. Pues estaba bien, está bien. Ahora. El did you have, ¿no? Como que si tuviste Jeff. Escuchemos. Did you have a fire here last night? Did you have a good laugh at my expense? Hey. Did you have a good time? En lugar de did you have a good time? 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 Now let's read these sentences. There are six sentences. Three, two, one, go. Did you have any trouble finding the restaurant? Mm -hmm. The restaurant? Do you have a chance to no, read? No, Jeff a chance. Do you have a chance? Jeff, yeah. Do you have a chance to read the book I recommend? Mm -hmm. Do you have a good time at the concert last night? Do you have any trouble finding the park a lot? Mm -hmm. Parking lot? Do you, have ha Do you have fun at the beach yesterday? Mm -hmm. Do you have a chance to see the last, the latest, latest? The latest exhibit at the museum? The latest exhibit at the museum. At the museum. Yeah, almost perfect. You say, Jeva, 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 good time, Jeva, chance, Jeva, and trouble. Then we have a what did he? Yeah, what did he would be, what did he? What did he? Listen. What did he do with it? What did he want? What did he say? What did he say? What did he want? What did he do with it? What did he do with it? Look at this one. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> What, What did, he, did he do? What did he want? What did he want? What did he say? ¿Te das cuenta? Ellos tienden a hacerme estos cambios. Es por eso que yo digo que es más complicado el acento americano. Es por eso que me sorprende, ¿no? Que sí te haga, se te haga más fácil que el británico, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Mm. Entonces, vamos bien. Vamos a leer las preguntas. Please read the questions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What did he think? What did he think of the movie? Mm -hmm. What did he do when he saw the far? What did he when he won the prize? What did he do? What did he do yesterday? What did you say about the proposal? 
What did you say when you asked me? A ver. What did you say when you asked him for help? When you asked him, asked him. Recuerda que sería asked him, termina con T, asked. Luego el M sería asked him. So, what did you say when you asked him for help? Asked him, asked him, asked him, asked him. That's great. Vamos con el siguiente, con un how did you. Esta es otra contracción que necesito que vayas chequeando. Que es el how did you. How did you. Que es el how did you. How did you. How did you. Let's practice. Go. How'd you get here? How'd you know that? So how'd you like that office? How'd you like that office? How'd you like that office? How'd you. How'd you. How'd you like that office? How'd you get Let's practice. Please read one sentence. Again and again. Three, two, go. How'd you get to the party last night? How'd you prepare for the big sem? Mm -hmm. How'd you get interesting in the photo photography? How'd you manage to get tickets to the game? How'd you improve your public speaking skills? How'd you make the delicious cake? Mm -hmm. Almost perfect. So now we have a conversation. Now we put into practice what we learn in class. So you are person number two, and I don't know, you're person one, and I am person two. Okay. okay. Three, two, one, start. How'd you do yesterday? No, it's not how'd you, it's what'd you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I read. Number one, person one. Okay. What did you do yesterday? No, what'd you? What'd you? What, ya? Get, what did you do yesterday? So, hey, what did you what do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I went to the beach with some friends. What about you? I went to, to a concert. Um, what try? Watch a trainer. Watch a trainer. Watch a trainer to do today. What you trying to do today? Pero mira, una cosa que diga. Watch a trying to do today. Yeah. Otra que te diga. I went to a concert. What you trying to do today? Más What's confianza es una pregunta, ¿ok? De nuevo. And what about you, bro? I went to a concert. What you trying to do today? What you? What you? What? What? What you trying to do today? Uh, well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go shopping for new clothes. Is he coming with us? No, he's not. Do you want to ha hang out? No, I know this is do you want to this, don't you? Don't, don't you? Don't yeah. Eh. Don't you want to hang out? But want that? you want to have as wanna. Okay, well. Don't you wanna hang out with us today? Actually, I think I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in and catch up on some reading. Did you ever go to the new restaurant on Main Street? Yes, I did. It, it was amazing. Did you have a good yes. time at the beach yesterday? I had a great time. What did you do yesterday? We went to a movie with some friends. How do you, how do you like the new restaurant? How do you... It was fantastic. The food was delicious and the atmosphere was great. Almost, mm -hmm. almost perfect. Casi bien, todo casi perfecto. Una vez más, con confianza, de nuevo, ok? Tú empiezas. Three, two, one, go. What did you do yesterday? I went to the beach with some friends. What about you? I went to a concert. What are you trying to do today? I'm going to go shopping for some new clothes. Is he coming with us? Don't you want to hang out with us today? Actually, I think I must stay and catch up some reading. Did you ever go to the new restaurant on Main Street? Yes, I did. It was amazing. Uh, did you have a good time at the beach yesterday? I had a great time. What did he do yesterday? He went to a movie with some friends. How did you like the new restaurant? It was fantastic. The food was delicious and the atmosphere was great. And the atmosphere was great, was great. Let's continue. Bien, ¿eh? Bien. Te estoy haciendo acostumbrar a, a esta nueva pronunciación. Uh, vamos con una más. A ver, vamos a ver. Terminamos con este, ¿vale? Tú eres persona número... 
Uno empieza. Hey, what's up? Not much. Just grabbing a cafe. What are you up to today? I'm gonna to a gym. To a gym. No, ya. Yeah. El gonna es el I'm gonna. Es para futuro. Pero este no es futuro. Este de aquí es presente progresivo. Aquí se tienes que decirme I'm going to. I'm going Solamente to. para futuro digo gonna y si es I'm gonna or am a, solamente es para futuro. I'm going to the gym. Don't you have to work today? Yes, I do. I just needed a quick break. Is it join us later? No, he's busy with he's busy with a project. Jerry ever try the new hiking trail in the mountains? I did. It was great. The view from the toe was breathtaking. Did you have a good workout this morning? Yeah. It was intense. How did he do ever? ever? How did he? No, it's, it's what did he? What did he do? What did he? What did he do over the weekend? Well, he went camping with some friend. How was the gym? It was good. I pushed myself a little harder today. I I pushed myself a little harder today. Okay, great, great. Buena pronunciación. Ahora lo que yo necesito es que te acostumbres, um, que te acostumbres más a este tipo de pronunciación. Te voy a mandar igual este material. Yes. Chécalo. Okay. Chécalo, chécalo, chécalo. Dame un segundo. A ver, te lo voy a enviar en este momento. ¿Tienes alguna pregunta para mí? Uh, la verdad, pienso que ahora en el listening estás bien. O sea, estas últimas actividades me quiero concentrar en el listening. Estás llegando para B2. O sea, que es bueno. Um, en grammar también vas bien, aunque a veces te equivocas al momento de hablar. Lo que vamos a trabajar contigo ahora ya no es un poquito de gramática, sino conectores. Veo que ya no me, con no me conectas muchas ideas. Por ahora no Ya, me has usado ninguna condicional. No me has usado ningún, eh, por ejemplo, pasivo. Cosas como esas. Así que no pasa nada. Es, es, eh, lo, vamos a, lo vamos a trabajar. And... A ver. ¿Dónde está el material? este sabes, estaba pensando el tema de la certificación que estábamos comentando ayer. Uh -huh. Eh, Yo creo que para empezar podríamos hacer, bueno, podría ser el del Duolingo, que es de, el, el más económico por ahora, para ver qué tal me podría Para ver ir. tu progreso. Ah, correcto. Vale, entonces Pero te sé voy que, a enviar. sé que sí estaba indagando la plataforma y sé que te, te dan pruebas, o sea, que tú puedas practicar y eso. No, Entonces. yo tengo exámenes, yo tengo los exámenes de Duolingo. Vamos a ver, te voy Ah, a ok. tomar entonces mañana uno. Ok. Y te tomo un examen de Duolingo mañana y te digo más o menos cómo te iría en, en la vida real, ¿no? Si es que pagas y te tomas el examen, más o menos cuánto te va. Ese es uno. Ese es uno. El otro que también podría ser bueno es el del Versan Exam, que yo considero que el Versan es, es más útil porque, o sea, es literalmente la vida diaria. O sea, te preguntan, por ejemplo, lo siguiente. Andrés, a ver, trata de repetir lo que digo. El okay, so, well, it's very hard to work in this company. ¿Qué fue lo que dijo Carlos? Well, it's very hard working in this company. O sea, es como que más real. O te digo, could you close the door, please? Could you close Eso también. the door, please? O Okay. te preguntan, ok, which is more difficult, learning a language or painting? Um, repeat all. Yes, repeat, repeat. Um, repeat, please. Ok, which is more difficult, learning a language or painting? Which is more difficult, learning English or painting? Learning a language or painting. Learning Repeat a ling again. language. Te hacen repetir o te hacen preguntas como, por ejemplo, which is larger, a cart or a track? Tienes que decirme la respuesta. Which is larger, a cart or a track? Um, a truck. A track. Y, y te hacen como que pensar, luego te hacen como retail story. Ese es un examen. Es por eso que ese es un examen como para trabajar. O sea, literalmente, si pasas el examen, quiere decir que tienes un muy buen nivel de inglés. Bueno. Ok. Vale, te voy a tomar entonces eh, el examen mañana. Mañana tomamos un examen, mañana vamos a ver tu nivel. Um, sí, me parece muy buena idea. Ok, me parece muy buena idea. Te mandé, a, este, chécate la pronunciación que te mandé. ¿Por Okay. qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Sí, eh. en Duolingo y en ese de allí, especialmente te piden un acento así como aplicando reglas. 
en el de Duolingo y en el de aquí también te piden aplicando reglas, esos truquitos, así que sería chévere que las repases. Mañana entonces tomamos tu examen, mañana te digo tu nivel, más o menos qué nivel estás, y listo. So that Okay. would be all the rest. Bye bye, Thank take you care. very much. Bye. Take Bye care. bye. Let me record, stop recording.